Now, the coffee shop chain Cafe Nero has found itself in hot water, or possibly hot latte, with farmers. It's announced that its stores in Somerset and Gloucestershire will no longer use milk from farms within the badger culling areas nearby. The chain claims it's taken a step to protect staff from intimidation. But now some farmers say they'll boycott Cafe Nero's 600 stores. Sarah Swaddling's been following this story. Uh, Sarah, what do you know so far? Well, this, as we know, will be the third year of badger culling in Somerset and Gloucestershire. And since the pilot began, the group Stop the Cull has run a wider campaign to put pressure on retailers to stop selling milk from farms in the pilot areas. Now, initially, this focused on the major supermarkets. Last week, though, Stop the Cull posted images on Facebook with slogans including Cafe Nero, a drop of cruelty in every cup, and also Nero doesn't care about officially cruel badger cull. Stop the Cull also said that the chain would be a focus of protest during an anti-austerity march happening on June the 20th. Now, subsequently, Cafe Nero said it had told its suppliers situated around the cull zone areas to source milk for those shops from farms outside of the zone because it appreciated it was, to quote their statement, an issue of concern for some members of the public. Now, following press reports that the move had been prompted by intimidation, Cafe Nero then put out another statement saying, Our people come first, so when our team members' well-being is under threat, we have to act. With just 2% of our annual milk supply impacted, we made what we feel was the right choice. We are not intimidated by protesters. For its part, Stop the Cull denies there was any menace in its supporters' emails to Cafe Nero staff. And the farmer's reaction has been pretty angry, hasn't it? It has indeed. The official response from the National Farmers' Union is disappointment. But farmers on social media are using a much stronger language, with many saying they'll now get their coffee elsewhere. Are other high street coffee chains likely to stop using milk from inside the cull zones? Well, Costa Coffee says it understands the sensitivities around badger culling, but only a small percentage of its suppliers' farms are in the cull zones, and it told us it will continue to buy from them. pret told us that the milk it serves is organic and is sourced from areas outside of the badger cull zones, and uh, Pret says it will continue to monitor the situation closely. We're still away waiting a response from Starbucks. But moving away from the high street coffee shops to the major retailers, Stop the Cull says Sainsbury's will be its next target. But the supermarket told us it's clear it doesn't intend to stop sourcing milk from within Badger Cull areas. It told us there are strong feelings on both sides of the debate, which makes this a difficult issue for all concerned. Sainsbury's says, like other retailers, we buy from farmers right across the UK and that they don't think think it's fair to penalise farmers by geographic circumstance. Thank you very much, Sarah Swaddling there.